Good morning. It is currently 20 past 5. It is Friday. And uh, you know what that means. We are uh, we are going on a run. It's been a it's been a rough week for me. I haven't boxed all week. I literally haven't been able to box all week because of my neck, which now is is getting there, but you know, it's it's been that bad all week. Like I did it on Sunday last week <laughs> and I thought mm, you know give it two three days <sighs> and it'll be all right and uh, here we are a week later and it's still painful yeah I'm not gonna lie I've genuinely been losing my mind like you don't understand how much of an effect it has on me mentally so I haven't been to the club all week and I just feel trash about that my coach even messaged me he was like you right mate like I haven't seen you in the gym in a while What's up? That's damn like, bro. My neck. It's my neck, bro. I just, I don't even know how I did it. Anyway, today I thought, oh, I got a comment on my last video. Someone said I should do a day in the life video. So I think that's what we're going to do today. A little day in the life video. I'm sure a lot of you know already what my day consists of because I pretty much, I pretty much do a day in the life video every video. I thought we could just title this one day in the life anyway. <laughs> So yeah, that's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna go for a run, we're gonna get the cold plunge done, we're gonna eat breakfast, go to college, get home, eat, uh, and then go to the gym. Yeah, that's what we're doing today. I'm kind of hoping they haven't changed a lot at the gym because last time we went there, they had like some wooden planks and you know, they got rid of the thing that I put my camera on all the time, so. If I go there and they've like gotten rid of my bag, I say my bag, <laughs> they've gotten rid of the bag or something like that, I just don't know what I'll do. I'm getting a lot better at this, getting up at, uh, at this time. Yeah, I'm gonna get layered up. Yeah, we're gonna go on our, we're gonna go on our run. So let's do it. <sighs> but guys, this will be my second video of the week. That's that's pretty good, man. I said I was gonna do it, and look, here we are. This is my second video of this week. It's possible. It's possible. I feel like I'm a lot more awake in this video than the last one. The last one, I was like. Oh. Good morning guys. I feel up right now. I feel awake and it's uh, it's quite early so. Oh yeah, we hit a thousand subscribers on this channel. That's amazing. That's actually amazing. We were we were on 998 for like two days and I was I was stressing. <laughs> yeah. I just want to say thank you for a thousand subscribers because you know it's, I just never thought my, saw myself making YouTube videos, making videos on YouTube. Uh, when I was younger I'd always you know, we'd always, we'd all be like that, right? We all wanted to, you know, post on YouTube and, you know, do YouTube videos and have people watch our videos. But, you know, I never actually thought that I'd be doing it. So the fact that I am, the fact that I'm sat here and I've got people that will willingly watch my videos and enjoy them and, you know, are inspired by them, it means the world. It means so much to me that you guys enjoy my videos. And I'm always going to keep making them, hopefully get better at it and uh, make different types of videos as we go. And you guys are going to watch me progress and get better at it, so, yeah. Thank you. So yeah, with all that being said, let's uh, let's go on a run. It is raining. It is raining, but it's quite nice. It's quite nice. I think. Yeah. As soon as I get out of my state, it's gonna be windy, so it's actually not gonna be nice. And I think it's actually getting heavier as well, which also isn't nice. <sighs> Let me stretch. What a nice thing to wake up to, right? Rain cold rain but for me it's it's like a choice in the morning you know you wake up on time and it's like do I want to stay in bed or do I want to get up because how is my future self going to react if I stay in bed I'll wake up later disappointments the only thing I'll feel you know what will I have gained a couple hours sleep which by then will mean nothing so yeah just got to get up every time let's uh let's let's get moving I was speaking with one of my close friends um, the other day, or yesterday, and uh, we were talking about isolation, maturity and isolation, and how I feel like in my life, the main way I have matured is through isolation, right? 
on my own. You spend a lot of time isolated, not around anyone. You start to figure out yourself. You start to figure out who you are. And I feel like that's when you mature. I think it's really good to have that time where, you know, you don't chill with anyone. You don't hang with anyone. You don't go out and, you know, have fun or, you know, do any of that. Instead, you put all your time into yourself. You spend all that time alone. You spend all that time up here and you figure out stuff. You figure out everything about yourself and that's when you mature. That's when you gain an understanding of how to be alone. It's when you, when you can find comfort in being alone, right? And a lot of the time when people are on their own, you know, they seek comfort in people. They're like, oh, I don't want to be alone. You know, you, you want to be around people. You, you, want to, you want to find that comfort. But when you really spend that time in isolation, you spend that time alone, you know, up here, you start to find comfort in it. And then you realize, you know, you don't actually need people. So when people enter your life and leave your life, shake it off, right? You can just shake it off. Because you're so used to being alone that, you know, you don't need anyone else around. So if people decide they don't want to be in your life, you can accept it. You can say, all right, you know, it is what it is. I'm all right on my own. It's something everyone should learn. It's something everyone should do. Conquer your mind and just um, spend some time alone. Spend some time alone. And um, yeah, find, find comfort and closure in yourself and not in other people. Well, a little halfway point. We have about two miles left. It's still raining. I'm pretty drenched. My socks are soaked. It's not very comfortable, but it does feel good. It does feel good to be out here. The rain is quite nice. I actually love the rain. I really do love the rain. It's like one of those things that's just so calming to me. It's so peaceful. It's just such a nice thing. Gentle rainfall. When there's no wind and it's calm, it's just it's so peaceful. I love it. Yeah. We've got about two miles left, so I'm gonna go ahead and get this done. I will uh, I will catch you guys when I get home. I'm not gonna lie, for some reason today, more than any other day, for some reason, I really don't wanna do this. I don't know what it is. It doesn't matter, we still gotta do it anyway. It is currently half seven. I don't have any bagels today, but I think we're gonna make some eggs. be a lot <sighs> guys I, I put too much milk in them before anyone comes for me I make my eggs in the microwave it does the same job hello all right got my eggs the time is quarter to eight college starts at nine or quarter past nine. So I've got to leave here at like uh, five or 10 to nine. Pretty much another completed morning. And there's not much else that I do in my mornings. Got up on time, we've gone out, we've ran, we've come back, got the cold plunge done, which I was stalling a lot for, by the way. I really didn't want to do that today, but we did it regardless. And here we are. I feel good, I feel great, but we did it, we got it done. So I'm gonna go ahead finish up these eggs and uh, I'll catch you when I'm on my way to college all right so I'm on my way to college guys while I was walking it rained quite heavily earlier all right so while I was on my way to college there's like a massive puddle in the road like say the pavement is like here right there's a massive puddle here in the road like back there and I was walking along it and cars were driving past I was like surely no one's gonna drive in that puddle and splash water all over me right Crazy, but 
what can we do? Anyway, I got everything I needed to do done and I feel good. Like last night, I went to sleep really late. I went to sleep at about 12, half 12. I was thinking to myself, oh, there's no way I'll be getting up at five tomorrow. There's no way. It's only five hours sleep. And I did it. And with, it, it was a lot easier than I thought, actually. Like I got up pretty easily today. So I'm very happy about that, actually, because I was really thinking, oh, there's no way. Tomorrow's video is going to be ruined. You know, there's no way I'll be able to do it. And I did it and I got it all done. Which is, uh, which is always a good thing. Yeah, I'm on my way to college now. It's Friday. So last day of the week, but I hate Fridays in college, as I'm sure all of you know. So I'm gonna go ahead and get myself to college. I'm gonna get through this day and I'll probably catch you guys after. Yeah, I'll, uh, I'll catch you guys then. All right, just finished college. It's a pretty long day, not gonna lie, as all Fridays are. So I'm on my, I'm on my way home right now. I'm gonna go home, make some food, Probably chill out for a little bit uh, until we go training. I usually get home, eat, uh, you know, relax until about six. Then we go to the gym and train, right? So, yeah, not much happened today at college. It was a pretty long day of nothing, you know, the usual, the norm. Yeah, I'm gonna get home and I'll, uh, I'll catch you guys when I get there. So I just got home. I was about to cook the main meal that I usually eat, which is pasta, tuna, and cheese. Go ahead and open the fridge. We have no cheese. We gotta go to the shops. I don't know if it gets to a certain point in filming videos where you, you know all your social anxiety just disappears and you know you can film anywhere you want because I'm when I'm like out in public, especially in a somewhere like the shops, like bro, there's no way I can I can walk around with a camera in somewhere like this because I hate being center of attention, right? And I just feel like whenever you're doing something like this, everyone's staring at you like, what is this guy doing? So I'm always just so wary of where I film to try and make sure there's as little people there as possible because I just don't want to be looked at, you know what I mean? Guys, I'm not gonna lie. I've been sat down here contemplating getting up to make food, right? I'm so tired. You know when you sit, you sit down, you're like, oh, I'm gonna get up, right? fight in your consciousness like genuinely trying to stay awake and you know you'll, you'll shut your eyes without even knowing it like your eyes will just be shut and you won't even know it and then out of nowhere you'll start losing consciousness one sound like i'm watching a video right like the video is just playing one like minor loud sound will, you'll hear it and you'll be like oh shoot you're like oh i nearly fell asleep Duh, bro i just went through that right i need to oh, get up it's that lack of sleep catching up to me now. Now that it's half three, let's go make some food. Let's get some energy. All right, so we have our pasta. Guys, I'm not gonna lie. This right here might be my favorite meal as of now. This tomato pasta with tuna and cheese. Mm. For some reason, bro, this, this hits the spot. This is different. Yeah, the time is currently Quarter to five. I don't know why it's taking me so long to cook this food. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna eat this food, I'm gonna chill out for about an hour, then we're gonna get ready and we're gonna head off to the gym and we're gonna go train, sharpen up, do some bag work. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead, eat this food, I will catch you guys when we leave for the gym. Alright, I've just left. It's currently like quarter to seven, I think. But we're late again. Everywhere I go, I'm late. I can't help it. I don't know what's wrong with me. So yeah. Usually, at this time, I'd be going to training, whether it's at the club on every other day or whether it's at the gym that we go to on a Friday, which is today. And uh, that's where we're going today. So, yeah, it's been a good day. It has been a good day. It's like one of those days, like, you know, everything's gone smoothly. The morning went well. College was, you know, as good as it could be. And now this evening, we're gonna go train, get some work in, sharpen up, stay loose. Yeah, hopefully we'll have a good session quite a nice evening actually this morning it was raining and oh, we'll turn down this music this morning it was like raining and you know horrible weather it was freezing it was horrible to run in and now this evening it's very there's no wind it's very not warm it's nice I haven't trained boxing in a minute like this week I've done barely any boxing training I've done like a fair bit I did a little bit of bag work on like Wednesday I think I've been running loads, sprints, 
you know, all of that because it's all I've been able to do. My fitness is still there. Just my skill. I haven't sparred anyone all week. I've done none of that. It's been horrible. So this is kind of going to be my first, like, proper session. Like, actually boxing and doing stuff, you know? Well, I say boxing. You know, kind of. Yeah, hopefully next week my neck will be all right. Like today, it's it's kind of been like in the state it's in now. It's kind of been like that for the past like couple days. You know, there's only so much I can do. So just gotta hope, hope that it's back to normal on um, by Monday, so I can start boxing again. Cause if I have to go another week without boxing, I don't know if I don't know if I'll be able to thug this one out. It is what it is, I guess. We're just gonna have to keep doing what we're doing. And if it is, you know, still messed up. I will still keep doing my cardio, doing my sprints. And um, I've been lifting weights this week as well, like a lot. I've been going to the gym a lot because it's all I can really do. So I've been lifting weights. You know, I stay training. If I can't do certain things, then I'll improvise and do other things. But I will never use it as an excuse to, you know, sit at home and do nothing. I hate that, bro. So we're always going to stay busy, no matter what, and just do what we can. All right, so I just got down here. Guys, my curiosity is peaking, right? Look what they're doing in here. They've moved all the bikes. Like, I'm sure most of you know the layout of this room by now. The bags there, normally, usually they'd have all those bikes over there, as you can see in most of my videos on TikTok. Now they've moved all of them there. They've moved this here. They've got all these boxes in here. Over there, there's like some new equipment. Like, um, as long as this bag stays here, that's, that's fine by me. They can do whatever they want in here. I wonder what they're gonna do. I actually, I have no clue what they could be doing. But anyway, I just got here. I'm gonna get my boots on and my wraps. I'm not gonna lie, I am so tired. Like I'm so drained. While I was walking here, I, you know when you can just feel it like all over your body. You're just like, oh my gosh, I'm so tired. But nonetheless, I'm gonna get my stuff on and yeah, we're gonna warm up and then start training. So yeah, let's do it. There's these boxes here. I thought they were empty, but they've actually got stuff in them. Heavy, heavy stuff. Anyway, I'm gonna warm up just like one or two rounds of shadow boxing and then we'll get to uh, we'll get to the bag work. So, yeah. Some warm, so let's get some bag work in. This is gonna have to be one of those sessions where we just gotta push through, we just gotta push through that tiredness. Hopefully, it will just go away when I start training and sweating. Yeah. box
mainly myself. It's just myself. I keep putting that idea in my head that I'm garbage and trash. You know, I mean, it's never perfect. You know, it's never, never perfect. And you know, we always strive for perfection. We always want perfection. You keep striving, you keep striving. Like, you know, you never get it. You will never reach perfection. You know, when people say, oh man, this guy is perfect. You know, you'd be talking about someone's physique, this guy's physique is perfect. But to that guy, he'd probably look at someone else and think their physique is perfect. Same in boxing. I look at someone and go, oh, if I could just box like that, you know, I'd be sick. But then the person I'm talking about is looking at someone else, wishing he could box like that. Perfection doesn't exist. It's uh, something we're all drunk on, trying to reach it, constantly chasing it, constantly chasing it, chasing it, chasing it. A never ending chase. Because once you reach that, you know, what you feel is perfection, you're gonna want more. Then that perfection will no longer be perfection to you. You'll wanna strive for more. Perfection is just, it isn't real. It's also something that will keep us going in the right direction. It will keep us chasing that dream that we want, forever chasing it because we wanna be perfect. We'll never reach that perfection, but we will improve every day trying to get there. So, if you look at it that way, it's not as depressing as it seems. Pretty much all the time we've got down here. So, I've got to wrap up all my stuff, put my normal shoes on, put my wraps away. Been an alright session, not bad. So yeah, let's get out of there. All right, just left, so. I never include this in any of my videos because I usually just end the video in there or, you know, when I get home. But since this is, um, you know, I'm showing you, you lot what I do, I usually run home after my, after from the, from the gym. Just go on a little jog, so. I'm gonna bring you guys with me on that this time. So uh, let's do it. All right, so <coughs> I forgot to film when I got in. So I got in about 20 minutes ago. I got in, had a shower. The last thing I do before I end my day and go to sleep is I get in, I eat my last meal of the day which is whatever my mum's cooked me today is fish and rice. I will read my scriptures for bed. I will say my prayers and that's pretty much it for me for in a day. And then I'll call it at night, maybe chill, watch something. And yeah, try and get an early night, uh, try and get to bed as early as possible. So I think that's where we're gonna wrap up this video. I hope you've all enjoyed it. I hope you learned something. Yeah, I will, uh, I will catch you in the next one.